back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna chat about shooting bags and more specifically, why I like shooting with one bag only. I feel it makes us a better shooter and I'm gonna do my best to sort of make that point for you guys. Now, there's no doubt that having the right bag for the right situation in a very specific situation will be a benefit. Anyway, we've got a few bags here. We've got our impact bag that's manufactured locally and then we've got some options from Armageddon gear up here. Got a Smedium. This is the OG with the sticky compound, which is, if you haven't felt this material, it's unbelievable. It's like Spider-Man produced it. It's super grippy and it's grippy on the top too. That has its place. And then we've got a pine size with the light fold. This bag is super light. And then down here for the guys in South Africa, you'll recognize this. This is called an X bag, okay? Super original when they name that. So we've got some different bags here. What I like is this. This is my sort of happy medium. I can kind of do whatever I need to do shooting wise with this specific bag and I can solve any problem that is presented to me for the most part. Now I'm gonna show you guys some examples where people use other bags and then we'll get to the reasoning why I like to have only one bag. Now let's chat about the construction of the bag first. Now the material that this is made from is a waxed canvas. So basically it's a canvas that they treat with wax and it makes it nice and durable. It also makes it a little bit softer and it does give it a little bit of grip. I also really like the straps that are on both sides. That gives you the ability to hang it like that. Or also I like to hook a finger into it like that sometimes if I'm needing to manipulate that bag through multiple sections of the stage and that just helps me not to drop it because I kind of have, you know, clumsy hands. Okay, the other thing you'll notice is we've got a flat side, which is this side here. And then we've got sort of this V shape. Now that V shape can be used to go over something like that, for example. And that's gonna give me a really steady platform to put my rifle on. Now, what I see guys doing wrong sometimes is they'll try and exploit that V shape over something large like this. And as you can see, this is actually a classic example of that. All of a sudden, now we have a dip here, which basically means is if I put that rifle down, I'm having in this middle section, I'm not having much contact area. So what you could do is you could flip that bag over to its side and all of a sudden you're gonna have so much more surface area to have that bag on. Now, speaking of surface area, what's really cool about these bags specifically is you can have them in a variety of full options. In other words, what is actually inside the bag. So this one is filled with kinetic sand and what's really cool is you've got this tab at the top here or the bottom, however, where you can actually manipulate how much of the sand you have in it. Now, when you get them, they're overfilled, okay? And I like having them, so, it's kind of difficult with this fill specifically. I run mine with the kinetic sand at about three and a half kilograms. I'll let you guys know whatever that is in pounds. Um, I quite like about three and a half kilograms. That gives me enough sort of moldability, if that's a word. But to, you know, if it's too full and too stiff, you really can't manipulate the bag nicely. Whereas if it's sort of in this full state, okay, I've got enough material that I can grab onto and actually mold this bag around obstacles or or whatever I need to. And also, if I'm using this as a rear bag, if I'm lying prone, it gives me enough squish that I can manipulate the rear of the rifle. So I find about three and a half kilograms on this specific bag is the sweet spot for me. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my rifle. I'm gonna show you guys some versions of how I actually grip onto the bag, how I hold the bag onto my rifle. If you like this style of content, our Precision Rifle course has a whole section of bags, how to use them, how to manipulate them. That's also gonna be linked down below. So make sure you check that out. And I do believe we have a coupon code, which I'm gonna put for you guys here. I think it's festive 2020, and you can get a little bit of a saving on that. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my rifle and let's do some shooting.
So pretty much what I've tried to demonstrate here now is shooting from the bag on its sort of side, laying it down on its side. I could, as I mentioned earlier, let me just make some room here. I could, as I mentioned earlier, do not fall over on me, have it laying over like that. That would probably still get the result. Um, but I like in a scenario like this, just having as much of the rifle as possible touching the bag and that's going to give me a little bit more stable platform to shoot from. Now very importantly guys, the type of fill that you put in your bag is going to have a massive effect on how your rifle feels on the bag and also your ability to manipulate it. Now the first year I went to the PRS finals due to weight flying from South Africa, I actually went with this sort of square flat bag filled with styrofoam like the loose styrofoam white floaty stuff. I had no ability to really manipulate that material and obviously I had no stability. So if you've ever shot off a bag filled with styrofoam, it's, it's the worst possible fill to go for. I like sand, it makes it a little bit more stable. Now, finding the right balance, again it's pretty much like finding that sweet spot on your rifle's weight. You know, a bag that's too heavy, first of all, it's going to be too full. Okay, a bag that's too large and heavy is going to be difficult to maneuver. So I find that this medium size, yeah, small, medium, medium, okay, it's sort of the sweet spot for me where I have enough maneuverability, I have enough fill in here to build a stable platform. Now, what I want to show you guys here is if we go on this piece, let me get rid of the sky pot, pop that over there. What guys do sometimes, you know, especially when I started back in 2017, started shooting um, precision rifle. We used to stand at the starting line with a bag carabiner into your belt like this with the big, what we call the pump pillow. Okay, so that's a big square bag. You've got another bag here and probably a bag strapped to your rifle. That's how we did it in the beginning. Um, and when I say at the beginning, that's the beginning in South Africa. Obviously the sport has been going for quite a bit longer than that in the US. And what we used to try and do is to try and fill every possible hole. So if I had that pump pillow, you know, I would stuff it into this sort of midsection here because now I'm trying to eliminate any wobble that we may have in this region, okay, in order to build a stable shooting position. Now the problem with that is you juggle so much stuff when you're on the stage that it becomes such a waste of time. So about a year and a half ago, I made the decision for myself that I'm gonna shoot with one bag no matter what, okay? Because if for whatever reason you were to find yourself in a scenario where the match director said you can't use five different bags, then you're gonna be in trouble. So I practice with one bag, I shoot matches with one bag, and the Armageddon Schmedium is my bag of choice. Now the target we're shooting today is, I'm not quite sure exactly what the dimensions is, but I'll overlay a shot for you guys. It's quite a small IPSC at 350 yards. And without needing to fill this thing, this void here, I've dialed 0.9 mil, okay, 1.6 for elevation. Okay, and we're able to put rounds on target simply because we, we've practiced to build positions without the need of 17 different bags. And I have found that guys just end up burning through their allocated stage time by juggling too many bags. Again, guys, if you like the style of content, my precision rifle course, we designed it to show you how we actually go about building positions in different shapes, sized obstacles on different heights, where you're putting your elbows, how to breathe, all of those things is in that course. Again, Festive 2020 will get you a small discount on that. And it also helps us do what we do at the channel. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank Armageddon Gear for giving us these bags to play with. Make sure you check out their website. I think it's armageddongear.com. I'll have it up here. They're not a sponsor of this video. The video was actually brought to us by our friends over at MDT. As you guys know, I run all my rifles in MDT. In fact, this is the very first ESS I ever bought way back in 2017. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.